This thing that I do call the slave dwelling. In 2010, Joe McGill established the Slave Dwelling Project. The Slave Dwelling Project is a simple concept of finding slave dwellings throughout the U.S. and spending nights in them. Joe has spent over 100 nights at around 75 different spots in 16 states. These spaces tell the stories of the people who were enslaved in this nation. It's only in recent years that the full picture of pre-Civil War history is being presented in many places. We're getting better in telling the whole story. In this place, there's evidence that slaves made the bricks to create the structure. Little fingerprints of a child's hands or female's hands. Those who lived here more than 150 years ago made an imprint. Now these bricks are, are speaking to us all. The group Free Spirit Freedom brought the Slave Dwelling Project to Hillsboro. I think it's important to know that people lived here how they lived and to think about what our ancestors went through. In this project, descendants of slaves and slaveholders are involved. Perny Anderson has participated in a number of site visits. All of my mother's side of my family owned slaves. Queen Norwood Thompson's ancestors lived in this building known as the Coachman's Quarters. This whole experience has been one of those life-changing events. Each dwelling has an effect on those who stay overnight. When I, I walk these grounds, I know that there were enslaved people that walked these grounds. In turn, every gathering has an impact on the community in which the dwelling is situated. It opens up dialogue about an era in American history that really nobody really wants to talk about. One goal of the project is to identify and hold on to places where slaves lived. We tend to tell the stories of this nation through the buildings that we preserve. Students visited McGill in this dwelling as part of the itinerary on this stop. There's a lot more to American history than a lot of us have learned in school. The Slave Dwelling Project appears to gain momentum and touch a wider audience each year. 2016 looks great for the Slave Dwelling Project because we're going to we're going to we're going to take the show on the road even more.